Erica, Erica Sager. Oh shit, it's Erica Sager. Welcome to my what I eat in a day. I'm obviously starting with breakfast, so we're gonna do that in a second. But if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe and regardless, like, and let's get started. Today's what I eat in a day is going to be very protein focused. I just did my workout, so I wanna recover with something that has protein and fat and will keep me satiated and recover my muscles from the workout. So I'm going to make a, not peanut butter, banana chocolate almond butter smoothie and I'll list all the macros of course and let's get started so I first grabbed a little banana moment ew and then I headed for the almond butter from Costco go Costco and then lastly actually not lastly we have some oat milk and then lastly for real we have some cocoa powder and then I just, you know, put that all in my blender, as one does. And then the last secret ingredient, if you're not freezing your bananas, is ice. And then I just blended that up. And it's super, super delicious. Normally it has the consistency of a frosty, but this is amazing. So as for the macros, these are going to be the lowest of the day in terms of protein, but still packing a punch. Okay guys, I just got back from a nice hearty four mile walk. So I'm in need of two things, a shower and some food. So I'm gonna go do the first one and then show you guys the latter. So for the tuna salad cups, you're gonna need a red onion, some tuna, this is just in literally nothing, not oil or water, lemon juice, salt, pepper, and then celery for some crunch. And then instead of mayo, we're going to be using mashed avocado. I promise you cannot tell the difference. So I just took the tuna out of the container and mashed that up. And here's my avocado, not that cute. But here it is all in the bowl, and then I just mix that up, that's my dog. And then I put it in these lettuce cups, obviously you could put it on bread. And then I had some watermelon on the side. These lettuce cups have a ton of protein, and it mostly comes from the tuna. And then for dinner, I just decided to make some chickpea pasta, great source of plant-based protein. And I also put some meatballs on it, but you'll see that, it's gonna say later, but like now. And these are really good meatballs. That's my sister, enjoying the vibes. Um, so yeah, I just poured that in. It boils a little weirdly, but it still tastes pretty good. So here are the noodles and the beautiful meatballs. Sometimes I put garlic powder or onions on it, but it's still really good. You're getting a lot of protein in this meal coming from both the noodles and the meatballs, so it's a great choice. And then these are the finals for all of my macros. These like red percentages are just their recommendations, so that's why, but yeah. Thank you. 